And this is out of rock and pull industries. I've uh, been working on a 2017. This is a Dyna Lowrider S. It's got a 117 motor in it. It's got lots of upgrades on the suspension. Um, unfortunately, he's been in an accident and um, the part that's concerning is right up here. This is the lower gusset of the backbone, which means that the neck angle is off a little bit. And on this model, I think it's supposed to be, it is supposed to be 29 degrees. And by looking at it, we're probably back, not quite a full degree, but you could tell that it's back. The camera appears to be okay. We haven't done our, our angle measurement yet, but we're getting ready to start on it. But before we start on this thing, I wanna say that there's, a, uh, there's something that we're dealing with with this gentleman. Um, he's got all the upgrades on this bike. And sometimes the insurance companies, they'll try to total the bike to get the file off their desk and move on to the next claim because they, they have a lot of work to do. But, so they're not really concerned about the financial situation that they're gonna put you in when they total the bike. So I'm, I'm trying to let you know that if you're involved in a motorcycle accident and you are, there is an insurance company involved, whether you're an insured or a claimant, you have more rights than you probably know of. And the insurance companies, they're gonna try and get you done and down the road as soon as they can. And hopefully you'll take the first offer and they'll close the file and, and send it away. And that's, that's not very beneficial to somebody who's trying to save a motorcycle. Like this gentleman, he's got money into his engine. He's got money into the exhaust, the suspension, uh, all kinds of good stuff he's got money into. He doesn't want the bike totaled. But the insurance company, they say, well, you know what? The bike's only worth this much and we'll give you this. And they're making it sound like doing your favor. And in fact, they're not really concerned about your financial situation. They're not concerned that once the bike's totaled, you still have a lot of money left on a credit card for the upgrades that you've done to your bike. Um, so I just want to let everybody know that get a second opinion. If the insurance company wants to total the bike, have it looked at. This right here is just minor frame damage. This is nothing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to save the guy from having to try to find another bike like this. Can you imagine trying to find a 2017 Dyna Lowrider S, a 117 with legend suspension and this and that? You're not gonna find it for what the insurance company is gonna give you. So look very closely at your policy. There's a, uh, there's a little clause in there where you can add extra insurance. Say you got custom wheels, a custom paint job, exhaust, this, that, this, that. You wanna add extra insurance to cover it in case you go down and get in a wreck or some unfortunate incident, somebody steals your bike. It's, they're gonna say, okay, well, you have this extra insurance that you're paying for, but sometimes it'll only cover $2,000 of, you'll only get two grand out of everything you put into it for that extra insurance. So you really have to read the policy close. I'm not an insurance salesman, so I can't give you any advice on that. Just look closely and talk to your agent, make sure that you are covered all the way. Um, maybe here's an example over here. Uh, this gentleman, beautiful bike, had a paint job, all this other stuff, had it in the back of the truck. The truck was fully insured. The truck got an accident, flipped over on the freeway. They said, oh, no, we're not going to cover your bike. This bike was just in here, and now we have to redo it again. Yeah, yeah so, so, you know, look at your policy real close. Uh, remember, whether if you're involved in an accident and there's an insurance company involved, you're either an insured or a claimant, and you have more rights than you know of. Uh, don't accept the first offer they give you, and look at everything. Get comparables of what your bike is to make sure that it's covered properly. So I'm just saying they're out to cover their butt, and they're not out looking for your financial well-being. They want to make sure they're not losing money. So whether you pay your premiums on time or not, that doesn't mean anything to them. They just want to make sure that they're not losing. They don't care if you are. So look closely, get a second opinion. If the dealership wants to total your bike, get a second opinion because they just want to sell motorcycles. So get a second opinion, take your bike to a shop that has a straight shooter, and they'll let you know for sure if the frame is bent. I've had lots of bikes get to me from different dealerships around the state, and there was no frame damage. It was a suspension component that was bent. It was, sometimes that would give the appearance of frame damage, and there is no frame damage. So once again, take it to a shop that has a straight shooter and don't, uh, don't, don't accept the first offer the insurance companies give you. You're an insured or you are a claimant. Demand that they repair your bike if you want to keep it. They'll work with you. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Let me get back to work on this thing and get it done.